Hi right, guys, I'm back again with another technical analysis breakdown. In this video, I break down the NASDAQ 100, also known as the US 100, and the trade that I took that made me the most profit I've ever made uh, in one trade. So uh, stick with me and check out my analysis as to how I came to load up on this trade and make the money I did. So without further ado, let's go. Hi guys, it's Eni, aka The Not Trader, your friendly neighborhood swing trader, back again with another video. Remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that alert button to get alerts on all my latest videos. Now recently I've been having a, um, I've been having a pretty much winning streak recently. Hope, hopefully I don't jinx it. Uh, if you check out my last video, <coughs> I believe I got 26R in two trades, really good. And this time I'm going to give you the nominal value of what I made in this trade. I made sixteen thousand dollars in this trade in one trade legit if you follow me on insta you'll see that i i gave the setup before i made the trade and then i, I let you follow my journey through the trade um i put it on the screen there um but yeah it was a really good trade and the reason why i made sixteen thousand dollars was because i stacked up i actually put quite a lot of um size on that trade but the reason i put that so, so much size is because i was really confident that it was going to go my way and it did now I'm going to explain to you why I'm so confident and there's a combination of smart money concept that I use and still trend line strategy as to why I was confident to take this long on the NASDAQ. So on the daily time frame, you can see here that there's this support line that has been broken through that, that had like a breakout and then it, it kind of came back up and then I saw that it was approaching this support line again, but I believe it was going to treat it as a resistance for a couple of reasons. So there's this sort of support line is very important. There was also this support line here, and that was where the initial um, breakthrough came to. So price has been selling off since about September 10th, and I saw it selling off, and it came and kissed this line, which is, is, is hit before. And this support line here was another support line that it broke through, but it came back up, and I believe it was going to retest against this line again. That's just kind of like on the daily time frame. So on the four-hour time frame, what I saw was I saw... There was a four hour order block here that I thought, okay, this could potentially be where it, it retests as a resistance. Um, and I saw that price was, uh, was has been falling for some time and it looked like it, it potentially could come back up. And if you see these two green lines, this was the initial line that I told you about in the daily. This is the second one. Now, this was the place where I thought, okay, this is an area of interest as to where it can bounce off of. A lot of people would probably think that it's going to go all the way down here, but I thought, no, it's going to go here. And the reason behind that was on the one hour chart, there was an order block here. So if you know about order blocks uh, with the vertex strategy, this was a breaker structure. And the most recent order block was here. So while other people might have thought, OK, maybe price is going to come down to this area and retest. My point of interest was here. And it made sense for me as well because price was going up, down, up and down. But I didn't believe it was going to go all the way back down to retest because that was quite a deep retracement for it to do. So um, I saw price come into this area and then I was like, okay, now let me find my entry. The old me would have just probably taken a long anywhere and just been like, yeah, I'm going to take a long here and just hold, put my support uh, stop loss there and then just hold it there. Maybe that like 5R. But as, as you know, I use smart money concept now and I use I use that for my entries to get really, really like nice entries on a lower time frame. So I went down into a lower time frame. Now the mistake I made was because I was so eager. Actually, one thing I didn't mention as well. Um, as priced I coming down, I noticed that um, it was creating some sort of some, some support and resistance lines. So as you can see here, I saw like a resistance line here. And I said, okay, cool. Price will probably want to break this resistance line because this is like, uh, um, a, yeah, basically a resistance line. And then what I did is that I copied this line here and I dragged it down here. And lo and behold, the support line was exactly the same. So this to me is a bull flag. Now, if you know anything about bull flags, you know that to work to to get a good estimate of where it's going to go next with a bull flag, what you do is that you get the, this point. Uh, let me you get this point here oh, let me do that again so you get this point here which is the bottom base and you go all the way up to the peak of the entry of the bull flag and then you copy it and you take it all over here which is the base of the where it breaks out to 
to and lo and behold where does the where does the um, top of this place take you to the four hour order blocks can you see the confluence all these different like people some people say trend line strategies don't work but i believe if you can use them in confluence with smart money concept you can get really high probability trades so i saw this as i said this bear pattern this bullish um this bearish um flag this flag pattern so that price impulses up flags down like channels down and it's going to impulse up again and this line normally equals that line now what i did was that i got this line as well and i went here as well because it potentially because these are two two of the high points and what i did was that i copied this as well and went like that so what this gave me was like a kind of range in which price could potentially stay within something like that but either way that, that's getting too complicated either way this was my this was my potential okay take profit um so now the hard part time my entry so we know where we want to get along from we know where we want to take our profit from and i i also marked this line here because on forest fa forex factory when this was uh the 13th was the 13th there was cpi data coming out and then uh for the usd and fomc meeting data coming out at 7 pm so i marked that up just 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 to make sure i knew when that was happening and um then went down into the lower time frame so now this is this is what this was my idea i saw that price had already at like what time was it let me check at about 8 a.m on the 2nd of october price had come to this area so we're in the one hour order block and within the one hour order block uh found prices found the base before it impulsed up so i said okay price is probably going to retest this area but uh so i uh i let price keep going keep going keep going And this is the mistake I made. I'm going to be really honest. I was so eager to get into this trade that I saw, I thought, okay, this could potentially be an entry. I was wrong because I thought, okay, this could potentially be an entry. So I took a long here. But the, the reason why I shouldn't have taken that entry was because look at the time it was. It was like 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. That's not the best time to take an entry. Um, uh, you want to take it at the UK Open or the New York Open when there's lots of high volume. So I took an entry there. Dragged it all the way to the top, and um, as you can see here, it it stops me out. So that was one loss, one one loss. But I was I was adamant. I was like, no, this is this is coming. So, and price had retraced back into this little area here that it that it found the low in the the day before. So then I went even down further into a lower time frame. I believe it was like the two minute or the one minute. And then So then price made another low, but at least it's it was still within like the the range. So yeah. If it had broken any lower, then I would have maybe had cause for concern. But um yeah, so kept going. And then it climbed eventually <laughs> eventually okay cool so we got um one breaker structure got one breaker structure here with that green line another breaker structure In all honesty, guys, I can't remember where I took my entry, but my entry was around somewhere around here. But I, I didn't really need those confirmations anyway because I, I knew that I wanted to take my long and th these were good places to take them. So I'm, for the sake of this video, I'm going to just say I took my entry here. I can't remember I took it. But where I put my stop loss was underneath this area just because price had retraced from this area up, came back down to it, retested it, and made two breaker structures to that. So I got a lot of confirmation in this trade. So then... As you do, I as I said before, I took my entry. I took my um. I took my uh. What's it called? My prof take profit, and I knew where I wanted my take profit to be. As I said before, my take profit was just based off of um, um bullish bull flag um, trend line. So it went from there, and I went from that there to there, and that was like the which is where I was, the four hour order block. But 
I just made it short of that. The only reason, the reason I made it short of that was because um, I had a profit target I wanted to take, and my profit target was I wanted to make 19k, but I thought 16k would be enough. I'm just, I just wanted to. I was just a bit like, I don't even know why I did it to be honest. I, I, I took a little bit. I took my profit shorter than I should have, but um, I was happy with that anyway. So then I let let it play out. So this was a swing trade. So it took a couple days to to play out, but um, I let it play out, and get, look what happened. So I need to make this a bit longer. Profit, target, hit, and it, and it went all the way into the order block. Now I'm, I'm shooting this on the weekend, so price stopped on the 15th, but everything played out exactly how I wanted it. And the reason why I took a really big position on this and I made 16K was because I was so confident because there were so many different confidences coming into play that uh, made me confident about this trade. Um, just to recap, on the daily time frame, you saw that there was a... Um, there was a resistance line, two resistance, two support lines that had been respected. One that had been respected once and the other had been respected another one. Another thing that I wanted to say was that, I, I didn't want to really go into this, but if, you, if you're into Elliott Wave Theory, then you can kind of see a one, two, three, four, five, and then you know that there's going to be an A, B, C. So then I saw it. So then there was an A, B, and then, or was it X, Y, Z? I can't remember. But either way, when there's five going down, there's three going up. So there's one, two, and then that's okay. This will be the third one. So Elliott Wave, trend lines, and the lower time frame, there was um, a smart money concept order block on the one hour. And then also the fact that there was two, two breaker structures. So here, there was a breaker structure, a breaker structure, and what you find in smart money concept um, with the vertex strategy is that when you get two breaker structures and impulsive move, it normally comes back down. So it came back down, and when it came back down, it was also a um, bear flag. Took a long within the one hour order block, but I got a reconfirmation on the lower time frame, and then I saw it all the way up to the um, to the four hour order block based off of the where bull flags end and also all the blocks. So there was just a lot of strong confluence, which is why I, I took a big size in this trade. Um, yeah, I've got nothing more to say. I'm a happy bunny. A couple more of these and you might be seeing me on the yacht. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But um, yeah, I'm happy with this trade. And to be honest, I'm in another trade similar to that right now um, uh, with Ethereum. And to be honest, it's, like, it's one of those things where once you see a pattern play out once, you can see it elsewhere as well. So it's the same, exact same thing. Break a structure, break a structure, break a structure, retracement, retracement back. There's a flag, uh, a bull flag forming, and I'm just taking a long all the way up. So I've seen this strategy, this 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 um, setup a couple of times. So that's why I'm really confident in taking it. When I take it, and I, I like to put a lot of size on it. So hopefully I get a good result on this one as, a get, as well. But I'll let you know how this one goes. Um, maybe I'll, I'll wait for this to play out and then I'll cut to the to the profits if it, if it works. A few moments later.